store checkout, customer service, toll booths, all services now being handled by machines. Coming soon, self-service security check-in. Starting next year, a California startup called Kyler will start offering automated security checkpoints at select stadiums and amusement parks. You can be sure the airport security line won't be far behind. Here now in the first national interview is the woman behind the technology, Kyler founder and CEO, Lisa Dolan. Lisa, thanks so much for joining us. Tell us how it works. Well, thank you very much for having me on the show. Um, well, the way that this works is this is a, a really a whole entry experience solution. So it puts together a, a, a bunch of technology and processes. And what you would do is you would walk up to this really um, beautiful honeycomb looking system and you would see a green door and you would take your ticket or your boarding pass or your, your entrance card, whatever it may be for that venue and swipe it uh, to open the door and you would place your bag inside and then you would walk through whichever um, gate or detection mechanism is already there at the venue. And in the meantime, this uh, system has multiple sensors that are all looking at hundreds of parameters together, calculating okay. and making a decision. And if everything's okay on the other side, you'll take your bag out and you'll be the only one who's able to open that so door. One so one of the biggest differences, because we're looking at it on the side of the screen, one of the biggest differences for, for people that are experiencing it is rather than putting your stuff on a belt where it goes through and, and there's a human being that's looking at the monitor and deciding whether or not there's something in your bag. Here a computer is deciding whether or not there's something in your bag. And you say the point is not simply to match a knife in your carry-on or your bag with a knife that's in the database, but rather for the computer to understand what a knife is and detect it. What does that mean? Well, what it means is that is that this computer understands what a threat is. We teach it what a threat is and what a family of threats is. And that's really important because you don't want to be looking for yesterday's problem. You want to be able to find if there's something new and different that you haven't exactly seen before. And um, you know, by able, being able to keep everything in the bag and your laptop. But how does it do that? Is it algorithm? Is it, is it heat? Is it, how does it figure out what is a threat and what isn't a threat? It uses multiple sensors and calculates based on those multiple sensors. We teach it. It's called machine learning, and the okay. machine basically learns this this phenomena. Um, it, it looks like it's going to be cheaper than having a normal X-ray machine. It takes up less space, a quarter of the space, maybe 50% um, less staffing. Are there a, how much do you save on average, and is that one of the big selling points? Yeah, well, you would most definitely, if you're going to be cutting down the cost of your personnel by 50% um, or even um, one third, then you're going to be saving annually very large um, uh, personnel and operational costs. Um, and usually with equipment like this comes all sorts of service contracts, which also cost. Our yeah. SaaS model, which is a security to service, uh, makes all of that, uh, puts it all into one package and makes it... Um, How does the basic machine, the price of the machine, compare to, you know, like a, a, a belted scanner that we would see at the airport or something? Is it cheaper? Is it more expensive? Like, what multiple? Well, the truth is it's entirely unrelated because we're putting together here an entire suite of security um, services that also includes connecting and talking to other systems and all the services that go around it. So there's no, really no way to compare. It can't be unrelated. I mean, it's about one costs some amount of money and the other costs something else. So is it is it more expensive, but you're saying you get a whole lot more? Um, well, the way you might compare it, if you wanted to take somebody who's using a technology already in place um, and they were to replace five lanes of this, you would be able to save anywhere between a million to, to even two per year yeah. on the total package of, of what needs to be around these systems. And okay. People. And you have your first batch of scanners. There's five of them out there. They are already spoken for. So there's obviously demand for this. Lisa, thank you so, so much for coming on. Appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank so you. you've seen what it's all about. Is it easier to...